Hey y'all, it's Bert Douglas Effort. I'm sitting out here on my porch. Thought I'd talk about something important. I'm just trying to get a thousand subscribers. They say it's impossible to do, but I believe in myself. I'm over halfway there in less than a month and a half. I wish you guys knew just half my story. You know, when I was 11, I went to my counselor at my school and said, I get beat and I want to go to a safer home. I went through about four or five different homes. The first one, they were a black family. Very sweet, but I felt like a dove in a crow's nest, if you know what I mean. Not being racist, just uncomfortable. Same way a, a crow would feel in a dove's nest. You know, it is what it is. Then I went to another home where they made me leave because they thought I was going to make their son gay. And I wasn't even gay. I was transgender. I didn't even admit that until I was 40. Let's see. I finally ended up at the um, in Indianapolis at the Children's Support Center down over on um, 16th Street. Some of the best staff I ever had. Food was delicious. Real fattening though, like tater tots and corn dogs, you know. Cheap, delicious, kids loved it. They said I was there longer than any other kid had ever lived there. I lived there seven months. And then they showed me a brochure of a home I'm gonna go to. It had horses and a golf course. First of all, a golf course. I don't even golf, but for real. But the horses got me excited. So anyway. I go to that home and I find out everybody there's there because the court sent them there because of their behavior. Then I started feeling like I'd been punished for telling the truth. I started feeling like maybe I made a mistake asking for help. But I made it through it. It was the Indiana Children's Christian Home of Ladoga, Indiana. You know, before it was done and said, I was teaching devotion every morning to those kids. It doesn't matter where you're at. All my life, I wouldn't admit that I was transgender. That's the scariest thing to say. I'm in the wrong body. Sounds crazy. Believe me, I know. So I stay drunk. Guess what happens when I get drunk? I go to jail every time. So yes, I have a rap sheet like a maniac. It's all just PIs and DUIs, but that doesn't matter. I have an alcohol problem. But now that I've transitioned or I'm transitioning... It's totally under control. I'll never lose control again. I'm a confident, beautiful, wonderful woman. I always have been, and it's just a goddamn shame that it took this long to get the nerve to say it. But I'm gonna say that it was part your fault because you made me uncomfortable. You made me think that I was gay because you called me gay. You made me think it was my only option. You never told me I could be transgender. I didn't even know what that was. It doesn't matter. I know what it is now, and I have gender dysphoria, and I'm fixing it. There's a lot of good stuff on the internet about it. Check my channel out. Please subscribe and like. I've got so much more to tell you. That's just the beginning of my story, baby. I got so much more to tell you. I'm 10 months on hormones right now. Let me show you, in case you, in case you ain't seen me. And I'm not bragging. I was scared to death I'd be ugly. Scared to death I'd be ugly. You hear me? I was scared I'd be ugly. Please look at me. Ugly. If you're transgender, please transition. You're not too old. You're not going to be ugly. doesn't matter if you pass. You're going to feel fantastic, I promise. I love you. She is Bert.